basically I was squatting before uh, I moved onto a boat and I, for various different reasons, I decided that I no longer wanted to squat, mainly for sort of um, issues of security, not in a sort of sense of danger, but more in a sense of sort of not having a place to come back to that's yours all the time. Um, and so I saved up as much money as I could from not having to pay rent when I was squatting and use that to sort of buy the boat outright. It's nice, it's my home and um, I, I really love it already, um, the lifestyle. Yeah, I was I was getting evicted from from a squat I had with with my group of friends and happened to be in the right place at the right time while someone was looking for someone who'd be willing to watch their friend's boat for them and then I, I yeah that was it really and then luckily I actually happened to know whose boat it was the guy who owns the boat I've known him for quite a few years so it's just like a happy coincidence and um, that was it and I, I really loved it and um, the owner didn't want to come home because I think he's quite happy to be a bit more a bit more free and not have like um, you know not kind of be responsible for somewhere for a while and be a bit more nomadic so he was happy for me to keep living on it and I was really happy to have somewhere stable for a while so it kind of worked out for both of us really well Canal via the Hartford Union, which is a little connection canal between the two. Um, they just reopened actually, but last time when I came, I came from Ireland before, but I had to go all the way back around via Limehouse Basin that way, which is quite a long way, because um, they shut this canal here for reading the locks, but I think, hopefully, it's open again now, so we can go back through. I, I, I did check it was open you know before. It It'll be fine. System. All right, so, but right now this is my water system because uh, the water system is conked out <laughs> along with the electricity. Um, but usually it's a matter of pumping this out and the water comes out of this tap here. So you just, yeah, you pump away. It's really fun. It's actually really fun, yeah. You can tell it's really empty right now. So it used to come from here, this thing that says water pump and then on. But that just uses up electricity, so there's no real use in... I mean, you may as well just have a hand pump. Um, yeah, so... And also, like, if the battery died and it was, like, generated by electricity, the water, you'd, you'd really be screwed because you'd have no way... You know, if your battery died, you'd have no way of getting water out of your tank. So, yeah, so we changed it to a hand pump, and that's really great. So that's it. <laughs> that's the toilet. No, that's the um, that's the box of sawdust. Okay. 
that I've had to like cover because the cat keeps thinking it's a giant litter tray. Okay. Um, and this tripod here, sort of thing, is um, is the toilet. And it's got a bucket. That's the pee bucket, the purple one, and the one behind it is the poo bucket. So you can switch them around. Um, and then this is some lovely reading material for when you're using the toilet and some toilet paper <laughs> for the convenience and general comfort of the toilet user. <laughs> Uh, I have to try and A, try and steer it enough to the bank to get onto the bank and then I have to go and sort of empty the lock and get it ready to go into. It's, it's fine, it's fine. But there may be a slight nudging as we hit the side. <laughs> um, I, can't, I can't avoid it, you know, I try my best. All hands yeah, the bank. <laughs> Wooden thing comes off when I try mm -hmm. and grip it. It needs to be replaced. It's now to raise these to. Uh... <laughs> Oh, thank you. I did it so many times. It's you. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, you saw it off the Hackney Wick? Yeah. Oh, all right. So glad to be on the way home. I've been going past it going, no, guys, got it. And he's got it. He's understood. I've only had good feedback so far. Most yeah. people seem to agree. And it's also just being, I, yeah, it's, I guess it's being a lot more connected to, I'm not going to sound like a massive hippie, but a lot more connected to the earth in a way. Because you're actually on a body of water and, you know, you really feel it when there's a storm, for example, the whole boat starts shaking and rocking and, yeah. And when it snowed, it was incredibly beautiful. Like, yeah, you just experience, like, it, how beautiful things can be a lot more. I think because it's just in your face <laughs> you're gonna wake up with like ripples of water reflected on the ceiling yeah I don't know it's all the little things I think all those little little things it's pretty incredible the night time is really beautiful on boats Kind of like small, gentle, small hours where everything's like peaceful and calm, and there's no people running around the park and screaming <laughs> when you're just kind of here on your own, and it's just you and the, the geese and the swans. Again, it's, it starts up, all these things sort of start off financial, but actually 
I don't think it's just me sort of making the best of it because I can't afford to do any, anything else, but actually the, you, you do something originally because it's cheap, but then you actually start enjoying it in of itself. I really love the idea of moving around now. Like, it's lovely to go to a different neighbourhood every couple of weeks. It's sort of exciting. Something to look forward to. Like, oh, I'm in this place, I'm in this place. And you, you sort of, all my friends live all over the place in the city. So I can sort of, when I'm near one friend, I can sort of meet up with them a couple of times and then meet up with another friend who lives elsewhere. And each place is slightly different. I think it's good to be more connected with, the, you know, not your human waste, but like, <laughs> you know, with what that symbolises. It's, it's better to be more connected with, with the impact you're kind of having and your kind of output as a human being. So that's definitely, yeah, a way of doing that, I think, for me, it's definitely been moving onto the boat. I think that the, the way we live these days isn't, it's not sustainable at all. One day we're going to have to look after ourselves a lot more, and I think Living on a boat is definitely a step towards that. Or becoming aware of how much you use and how much you waste. There's something about being on the water and moving around and having a little home that can move anywhere that's really, really lovely. The main disadvantage, of course, is the sort of hardship element to it, like the cold and having to do, do manual work and having to empty your own crap out in the toilet and that kind of thing but the sort of physical uh, side doesn't bother me and sort of um, hardships and adversity don't really bother me that much but boredom does and so you never get bored on a boat. Dança 